<laughs> Damn, man. That's cool. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Interestingly, uh, Cap, that scripture, uh, Deuteronomy yep. 7. Um, when I look at that scripture, you know, since we just on the topic from the skit, right. it's naming specific um Hamite nations there. Right. right. Um, so does that so I haven't seen now, correct me if I'm wrong, in terms of white women, it may be what I saw is maybe may not be expedient, you know, like Paul says in Corinthians 10, right. but does it make it against the law? Yeah, I'm gonna show you. So in first okay. Kings, and that's a that's a good question. And so this is one of those things where Nehemiah and uh the most high specifically um knew like the spirit of that law because that law clearly says if you sleep with them not it don't talk about them being ugly or anything like that it just says if you sleep with them they're going to turn your heart from the most high right yeah mm -hmm. so does that not mean does that not also apply that if you sleep with an asian they're going to turn your heart you sleep with an arab they're going to turn your heart so now i'm gonna read some scripture so this is first <laughs> kings 11 and 1. I'm going to read 11 and 1 in verse 2. So it says, But King Solomon loved many strange women, together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites. Verse 2. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you. For surely they would turn away your heart after other gods. Now you notice in verse 1, there are nations named in there that are not in Deuteronomy the seventh chapter, mm -hmm. because the point of Deuteronomy the seventh chapter is to only marry your own. It's never to marry outside of your race. And then if I was to read Nehemiah the thirteenth chapter, Nehemiah is going to flat out say Solomon sinned. So this is Nehemiah thirteen and twenty five and twenty six. It's Nehemiah 13 and 25, and it says, And I contended with them and cursed them and smoked. Now, the backdrop is they had married Moabite women and Ammonite women. And it says, So, and I contended with them and cursed them and smoked certain of them and plucked off their hair and made them swear by the Most High, saying, You shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons or for yourselves. Verse 26. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Yet among many nations were there no king like him, who was beloved of his God, and God made him king of all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to sin. So we are not supposed to date anybody outside of our race, period. Damn. Wow. wow, wow. Yeah, leave that white woman alone. That's the listen. When you sleep with a white woman, just know you envious of the white man. Just know that. Ain't hey. nothing worse than a black man sleeping with. Listen, I hate you sisters that uh sleep with white men as well, but it's far more black men that sleep with white women than the other way around. Yeah. You Damn. I mean? I, if I could, if I could sob, but I'm gonna tell you how disgusted I am. There's some white dog that uh <laughs> did this whole hot tour thing, right? Uh huh. Uh -huh. And what pissed me off the most, and they say, uh, and I, I like to always tell the truth, what pissed me off the most is black people using that as a litmus test of what women should do. Not understanding that there ain't a greater whore on the planet than the white woman, and we're going to take it, and now we what what we encouraging black women to do? Hawk tour like a white woman. And I mm. hate it to my core. That, yeah. And it's Israelites that's doing this. It. Israelites that's saying it. Regular brothers that's saying it. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I just wanted to say that. They're like men are saying hot too. Men are men are saying that the women should hot too, like the white woman is. Oh. Like oh, they taking what that man. white woman is. Say what? No, go ahead. I'm saying this woman said this white woman said you got a hot tour on that right there. Play that right there. Play that. The original move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time. Oh, like you, you gotta give him that hawk to and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> the original. No, that's a white woman. And black, you got black men, Israelite black men and women talk about you gotta do that. And that disgusts me. Me, me personally, 
I am disgusted at all you Israelite men and all you regular brothers in the world that is using a white woman as a litmus test for what you want your black woman to do. That's just that's just me. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Damn. Okay. So, all right. I had I had two questions that popped in my head. Okay. I want to clarify for the people. Firstly, who can they date as black people? Oh, so for us as Israel, you can date any one of the twelve tribes of Israel. Uh huh. Um, that's blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians in North, Central, and South America. We're also overseas, so we got a school overseas, and so you can date over there. But in America, you can only date black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. That's it. Can't date outside the race. Okay. 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 Um. Does it uh, like is there any differentiation like uh you know you got Boricua, Taino like yeah, ta- they, can... yeah so you can't be a Spaniard like so just because they say they're Puerto Rican you got to check and make sure they're not a Spaniard type of Puerto Rican Spaniard Mexican um I like even like you know when I say Bob Marley that's a white man so you know Bob Marley would be off limits because that's a white man you know what I mean um so. Mm. That's how we look at it. We look at what you are ethnically. It's not about your skin tone at all. It's just about what you are ethnically. So if you're an ethnic Israelite, so if you're ethnic Taino, ethnic Black, ethnic Native Indian, then you're fine. If you're not those things, then you can't. Okay. So obviously they're going to want to understand. Um, we don't got to go too far, but far enough so that they get the, yeah. get the understanding. I can give a brief how, one down. How is, Bob, how is Bob white? Oh, his daddy white. Oh. <laughs> Google... <laughs> Google Bob, shit, shit, Google, Google Bob Marley father. When you Google Bob Marley father, Bob Marley looks like his father in blackface. That look, them little lips, that little nose, them beady eyes. He get all that from his white father. His skin tone and hair texture he gets from his black mother. But yeah, just Google Bob Marley. Now, Google Bob Marley father. How do you answer the question? They say, well, his his mom white. I mean, his mom black. Oh, that question. You are the seed of your father. Always remember this. Mm-hmm. You were swimming in your daddy's balls before you went into your mother. And whatever go, whatever comes out of the daddy mm-hmm. is what grows. Think of it like we call a woman the earth because the woman receives seed. She don't have seed. So if you put a orange seed in the earth or apple seed in the earth, it's going to come up what you put in there. So if you take a black man's seed and put it in a woman, it's going to come out a black child. Now, scientifically, you get the same chromosomes, 23 from the man, 23 from the woman. And even science says the portion of DNA that makes up who you are ethnically comes from your father. So having a black mother doesn't make you black. Perfect. Any, uh, uh, no, 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 it's if you wanted to, uh, you anything you want to show them just so they can refer to it biblically speaking, so they understand. Was that the seed of their father? Yeah, the twelve tribes of Israel is all men. When, when, uh, when, uh, when any, excuse me, in Egypt, they wasn't the tr- trying to destroy the young girls. It was only the boys. When you go to Numbers, I think it's eighteen and one. Let me make sure I got that right. It might be one and eighteen. Yeah, one Numbers and eighteen one. and no, it's eighteen and one. Okay, I thought it was one and eight. Well, numbers one is um you. Yeah, it's actually you're separated by the seed of the father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, their pedigrees by their families. Mm-hmm. So numbers one and eighteen says, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. There's never a house of their mothers. And if you do the same thing with numbers eighteen and one. Let's talk about Aaron, so that's a little different. So, but numbers one and eighteen is uh, pretty straight and to the point. Yeah, one hundred percent. And you know, when I when you look at it, right, right, and people often push back against this particular. I'll use narrative just for the sake of conversation, right? Mm-hmm. Every movie you watch, you ever watch Troy? Yeah, and he say achilles son of paleos right like they all only say their father's lineage um you know throughout all just in the in the in the the, the white boy movie right and and for all you because you know women don't like to hear this part because they want to be a part of every goddamn thing Mm -hmm. this ain't taken away from the child acting like you looking like you 
getting your traits. We only talking about what makes their nationality or their ethnicity. That's it. For all intents and purposes, Bob Marley acts everything like his mother's side. He doesn't act like an Irish man, which is what the father was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Okay, so dang, I, I, I forgot the second question, but I need to ask. Oh, um, it was uh, so we went to the seat of the father to clarify that, and then they, you know, oh, um, you know, you were saying like black women date way more white women, white women. Then black then black women step out for all intents and purposes. Yeah, I said black women black men are far more disloyal than black women when it comes okay. to white people. Perfect. So you think that black women are more race loyal, which is why they don't step out. And you think we're more disloyal. Yeah. On, on the subject of who sleeps yeah, with the white woman. Yeah, yeah. On the subject of that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, black women the, are more loyal. The argument would be that it's not that they're more loyal, is that they have less options. What you think? No, nah, that's cap. That's cap. Because a black woman is the, the standard black, yeah. of beauty. Black woman is the standard of beauty. So mm. I just think that listen, black women suffer black men. And then black and, and she suffer him by putting him on child support, fighting him and all that stuff like that. But she's far more loyal. We'll listen, a black man will sleep with a white woman for nothing. I guarantee you. It's about a million black men looking for that white dog we just played that video of with the hop tour. Wow. They all outside looking for that white woman right now. Wow. And we don't have we don't have that type of loyalty that black women have to us. Wow. I ain't saying they better at you know, we both equally wicked, but on this subject here, mm -hmm. black man is far more disloyal to the black woman. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> You know they never heard that before, Cap. Listen, when I was coming up, when I was coming up as a kid, now I have not ventured in the, in that route. But I was, it was always in my community. Uh, get with her; she's more easier. She do this, like I don't. It's it's always been like that. Mm, mm, so mm. That, that's all I've seen. Damn. Look at our celebrities. Our celebrities go buck wild getting with them. Listen, you know who I found out got a white had a white wife. Who that? James Evans from Goddamn Good Times. White really? wife. White wife. James got a the whole white time. Wife? He James on Good Times being the most, being one of the most hardcore fathers black TV has ever saw. He went home to a white woman. James oh. Evans. White. Oh woman. shit. <laughs> the fuck, Shout out to Aaron Woe in your chat. He said the comments both men and women switching sides. That's funny as hell. Look, you see that? Look, that's James Evans. John Amos. Damn, James. <sighs> Black men, because that's the white man's trophy. That became our trophy. Black women God. don't want to be. Most black women know. Are intelligent enough to know that all you could ever be for the white man is his bed wench. That's what most black women know. Mm. Black men don't mind being the mutt of the white woman. Her pet. You are you sleep with that white woman, you are her pet. That's it. Put a dog leash around your neck and bark when she say bark. Salaki. <laughs> 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 Yo. <laughs> Golly. Like, share, subscribe to <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. Like, share, subscribe to like, you, you want to take some people. I got like 18 more minutes now. Oh shit. Uh, I, yo, my I bad. I've been having too much fun. To put it in the chat. Yeah, I was texting I'm you everything, man. I'm terrible at the damn private chat. I apologize. <laughs> I, no so I turn the chat off when I'm doing the interview. Oh, okay. God, I can focus. God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, oh man. Hold on, Cap. You just you hit these niggas with a honey bun, man. <laughs> I'm gonna Man, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most.